Hey, how's it going there? I had one of my users ask a question, um, and I told him I'd respond with a video for him. Uh, one of the questions uh, user asked was uh, where the ignition coil is, and that's just right there. So that's pretty easy. And uh, another one that he asked, which is kind of a, a good question, was he had some, uh, uh, well, he had, uh, is wondering, he had some cleaner, and he's wondering if he had a MAP or a MAF sensor on the 22RE. And uh, most cars, for you guys aren't familiar with that, like the Hondas that I usually work on, they have what they call MAP sensor. I think that sensor manifold absolute pressure or something like that. What they do is on the, uh, on the intake, they have a pressure sensor. And this is the MAP I'm talking about. And it measures how much air is coming in by the amount of pressure that's kind of built in there. And those I like because you don't have to clean. So on the Honda Civics in the 90s, you never had to clean anything because it was just a diaphragm type setup. So it just measures air pressure. Um, a lot of American cars, or at least, uh, I don't know if I'm very many Asians want to use it, but I see a, a lot of cars will have a little wire that hangs in the um, air intake and uh, the air will flow past it. And it, I believe it, the way it works is it, by the coolness of the uh, wire because of the air flowing past it, it kind of determines it's trying to use that as a measurement of how much air flow is going in. And all, everything I'm describing is to try to, for the computer to try to determine how much air is coming into the air intake, so the engine. So then that will allow it to um, know how much fuel to put in the injectors. Anyhow, um, so on the 22 REs, they kind of did their own thing on this year. Um, and it was kind of interesting. What they have is like they have like a flap in here. And so when your engine's running and your throttle revs up to your throttle um, and it opens up, it's going to suck more air into it. And uh, what happens, there's a little flap in here and it starts opening it up. Um, the wider it opens up, the more uh, because the more air is coming in. It's kind of like a reverse of your uh, throttle body. It's got a little flap in here. When you step on the accelerator pedal, um, it opens up the throttle to allow more air to go in and you know you, you, you need more fuel because you're getting more air in and then uh, when that opens up over there as it's sucking in more air this will open up and they call this oh what's it called an AF V or something like that it's basically a, a valve system so it's, it uses it doesn't use either method the map or the MAF sensor so it's kind of unique so I hope that explains how this works and so there shouldn't I don't think there's anything to clean in there because it's just kind of like a potentiometer my understanding is so as it opens up um, it changes uh, probably the resistance or something it's either measuring resistance it's probably using the rest of the resistance to measure a voltage drop and that's how it's determining how much airflow is coming into the engine and that's just how they chose to do it it's like, I've never seen another vehicle like this um, and anyhow, so that's how the, uh, I think it is called a, I can't remember the technical term. I wonder if it's up here. Uh, throttle body. Might be on the sticker, I don't see it. But anyhow, so that's how it's an air, I, I think it's called an air vane or something like that. That's a, but that's how they did it on the 22RE. So it's not using air pressure or the wire method. So there shouldn't be anything to clean in there. I suppose you could clean it, but it's just using a flat valve type setup in there. Anyway, sorry for all that rambling. I hope this makes sense. If this helps you out, maybe give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to some more videos as they come out, thank you for watching.